The retail expert Mary Portas has been accused tonight of misleading Parliament over money that she received in her role as champion for high street regeneration. The so-called Queen of Shops rejected suggestions that she'd only got involved in the Portas pilot towns like Margate, Dartford and Brighton in order to make money from spin-off TV programmes when she gave evidence to MPs last week. In a select committee hearing, she specifically denied receiving a £500,000 fee from Channel 4, but has now admitted that it is the amount she was paid by the broadcaster. Simon Jones reports. So, we either let the cameras in with me, or I go back on the train and some other town gets... She was accused from the start of being more interested in self-promotion than promoting Margate. I'm not allowed in. The TV show about her attempts to revitalise the town proved no less controversial. You've been saying repeatedly since you've been here that, uh, that you've not been paid for any of the work uh, that you've done for government. And last week MPs asked if she was indeed getting paid half a million pounds by Channel 4 for her shows, as reported by the newspapers. Well, if I was getting 500,000 for Channel 4, let me tell you, I'll be a happy woman. Okay. I am not. So those numbers that they were bashing about, I'm surprised that you listen to the Daily Mail, Mr Danchuk, but never mind. <laughs> but she's now written to MPs to clarify a few points mentioned, saying she misinterpreted the question about her payment from Channel 4, revealing she is signed up on a two-year contract worth half a million pounds, but that is to make 20 programmes, not just her Queen of the High Street show. The MP who quizzed her is not impressed. I think she was misleading Parliament, there's no doubt about it. I don't know many people who can't recall receiving half a million pounds, uh, so it is quite bizarre. I come all the way from South Africa after seeing Mr Billy on telly, but he not there. <laughs> but one shopkeeper who featured in the Portas programme is defending her. She might have earned money out of it, but then she's not a charity, and um, I haven't got a problem with that at all. But a different view on the high street. With Mary Portas, I think a lot of it is, you know, to sort of buoy up her own career rather than anything, to be absolutely honest. Mary Portas took to Twitter today to say that she had misinterpreted the MP's question under fire. She insists she believes in honesty and she'll roll with the punches. Today's signs of the regeneration Mary Portas was trying to promote. Plans unveiled for a new 60-bedroomed hotel next to Turner Contemporary. I think it's at least uh, starting a creative debate through the Turner Gallery, through new hotels, bring tourists into places like Margate. But Mary Portas's role in that debate remains as divisive as ever. Simon Jones, BBC South East Today, Margate.